This is a tight shirt, isn't it? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric, and today we're going to be covering an episode all about the Coelophysis. I'm your host, Tall, and this is a channel where we do quick dives on dinosaurs, and we're actually covering all the dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. As well, you can become a member on this channel, join, and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single episode as well. Leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. And with all that being said, let's cover an episode on the amazing. Waft it, smell it, love it. Coelophysis. So what does the word Coelophysis mean? Well, coined by paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope in 1889, the name Coelophysis is a combination of two Greek words meaning koloisis, meaning hollow, and physicis, which means form. So Coelophysis means hollow form, referring to the hollow bones that the dinosaur had. So when and where did our wonderful Coelophysis live? The Coelophysis roamed the earth about 190 to 225 million years ago during the late Triassic period in present day southwestern United States. The most famous group concentration of Coelophysis came from Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. It was discovered in 1947 by Edwin H. Colbert. Thousands of Coelophysis fossils representing all growth stages from hatchlings to adults tangled together, probably killed by a flash flood, which was something that is considered to have been a frequent occurrence during that time. And fun fact, the Coelophysis is actually the official state fossil of New Mexico. So shout out to New Mexico, you guys are awesome. Okay, so what did the Coelophysis look like? This bipedal prehistoric creature had a long tail, flexible S-shaped neck, and tough skin covered with a protective layer of scales. Its head was long and narrow with large eyes and elongated snouts. Its backbone was locked in such a way where it prevented the long tail from constantly moving up and down. Coelophysis had three toed feet and short equipped claws. Its long narrow jaw had several sharp serrated or saw edge teeth with those at the tip of the jaw angled backwards. Like imagine a cross between a vulture and a grumpy large chicken, but with scales and jagged teeth. The scaly Coelophysis grew up to 9.8 feet or 3 meters long, 3 feet or a meter high, and weighed about 33 pounds or 15 kilograms, up to 44 pounds or 20 kilograms at the max. Side note! The Coelophysis was one of the first dinosaurs to have had a wishbone, which kind of helped solidify the whole dinosaur to avian connection. However, the Coelophysis was only a distant relative to birds, because birds wouldn't really start evolving from dinosaurs until the late Jurassic period, approximately 40 to 50 million years later. And a data side note over. Let's talk about how the Coelophysis got famous, or if there's any mention of this creature in popular culture. Well, the Coelophysis did appear in TV shows, documentaries, and and the series such as When Dinosaurs Roamed America, PBS The Dinosaurs, and National Geographic's Bizarre Dinosaurs. It also made a quick appearance in The Rite of Spring, a segment of Disney's 1940 musical film Fantasia. Coelophysis was featured as the main character in the first episode of BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs. This is probably the most famous depiction of this dinosaur, and we all know and love that depiction of the Coelophysis. It was first aired in the UK in 1999, and the first episode, New Blood, highlights the lives of a group of Coelophysis. This animal was also featured in video games such as Prehistoric Kingdom, Dinosaur Explorers, and the Roblox game called Dinosaur Simulator. In the Jurassic franchise, the Coelophysis was one of the dinosaurs featured in the simulator game Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, let's talk about the Coelophysis' diet and behavior. Coelophysis was a carnivore that preyed on prehistoric fish and small reptiles. Because of its hollow bone structure, the Coelophysis is believed to have been a light-bodied, swift, and agile hunter. Being light and nimble combined with the long legs could mean that the Coelophysis would have had been able to easily cover a greater distance in the search for prey, suggesting that Coelophysis most probably was an opportunistic carnivore. Not only did it hunt for small animals, it may have actively sought out decaying animals as well. Due to the great discovery of more than a hundred fossils of the Coelophysis in one place, it was easy to assume that it was an animal that moved in packs. However, it it was also possible that these dinosaurs at Ghost Ranch gathered while hunting fish or drinking water. When they were caught
caught by the avalanche or flood that buried them alive. Now, time for some shocking Coelophysis scandals. This dinosaur was once accused of cannibalism. Analysis of stomach contents of some of the Ghost Ranch Coelophysis specimens had revealed the fossilized remnants of smaller reptiles. Although upon first glance it appeared to be a Coelophysis, juveniles, a study in 2002 by Robert Gray proved that these were bones of small Cruatoran reptiles. These reptiles were common during the time of the Triassic and the evidence now, at least in the fossils in this location. And further analysis in 2010 suggests that Coelophysis was not a cannibal and that the bones of juvenile and adult specimens found in their final position was a result of coincidental superposition of different sized individuals. Pretty much the stacking of bones on top of each other simply meant that a small Coelophysis was crushed under a larger Coelophysis. So no, it probably didn't eat its young, nor did it eat its own kind that we know of. And that, my friends, is the Coelophysis. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive or prehistoric animal quick dive we do in the future. Because here on the Dinosaur Channel, we're covering every single animal and prehistoric creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise, so you're not going to want to miss a single one. Also, don't forget to leave me a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below. A dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. As well, you can become a member on this channel, join, and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. And if you want to support this channel financially, you can by sending us a PayPal donation down below in our PayPal link in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I love ya. Uh, goodbye.